Hello, welcome to SD Play Games and also welcome to Shapes. I have already made a few videos of Shapes in my channel. There are without me speaking because I didn't got a good mic at the moment. So don't forget to check them out. I'm hoping you can hear me all correct. If there is a problem about the sound or anything else related to this, then just leave it in a comment and I will try to fix it when I can. Also Shapes 2 will come out soon. I can't wait to play that one too. So I will try to explain some things in the game. This will be a relaxed gameplay, no speedrun, so please enjoy. So let's start a new game. The tutorial is just starting at the beginning. But I am going to tell you what you need to remember. Each machine or belt or extractor or how you wanna call it has its own speed limit so this one has 0.4 items a second a belt can get 2 items a second so in the beginning the belts are not maxed out it's just telling you to place an extractor and then drag and drop one belt in here you can place more if you're holding shift something like this by scrolling you can zoom in and out and just like that the first level is completed the cutter and trash is now unlocked the cutter can cut the pieces and the trash can remove the pieces you don't want first thing you're going to do is remove everything in here there are two ways by pressing the right mouse button or selecting everything by holding the control and the left mouse button at the same time and you can drag whatever you want and then pressing delete you can delete everything so I'm going to make one line of this one back in here so this will continue working let's start placing some colors and some trash to make the next piece the reason why is they are telling you to do it in the trash you are checking the first one you see we need the left piece 40 pieces of that but we don't need the right piece so let's trash them and then the belts will continue working and then bring them in and now we need to wait till it's done Level 2 is completed and now the upgrades are unlocked. I'm only going to upgrade if I can upgrade everything at once. So I'm going to leave it till I can upgrade everything. And the reason why is just to get belts maxed out after a while. Now it's telling you to get 4 extractors to connect just by holding the shift button. So now we can make full lines. Now we have a balancer that will split and merge the items. The belt can handle two pieces per second. One extractor can give you 0.4 pieces per second. So 0.4 times 5 is 2. Then 5 extractors are enough. To place the extractors and balancer like this, you will get one maxed out belt. Make sure you have connected everything. And this is the best way to do it to get your belts maxed out and if you upgrade everything you don't need to change much so for the next piece we need we need the square but the right side for that so let me set it up quickly one color is giving you two times 0.5 items per second so if you trash one side then you need 4 cutters to get a max belt of 2 items per second. So like you can see, max belt is in there, max belt is there. 2 items in each second. You can expand it if you want or you can wait for this. We 
we have completed level 4 so the rotator is unlocked. With the rotator you can rotate the items 90 degrees. And also they will show you some useful key binding. For the next level we need a half piece on top. This is what I have done. To explain you a little bit about this, I have made here an example. In this example, I can show you putting one rotator in the left side to get the piece on top and on the right side you need three rotators so that that side is also correct to make the piece on the top. This setup is making 8 items per second with 4 lines and you need to connect 2 cutters together to get one full belt. You can do it like this if you want. And just like that level 5 is completed. Now we have unlocked the tunnel. With this option you can go beneath the belts and also make your setup a little bit nicer. So for the next piece we need 270 of this right top corner. So for the next one I've done it in two different ways. The first way is the same as the other one, just bringing it up. As this one, only thing I need to do is rotate the left side to get them all correct. The other way is to using tunnels, something like this, and then bringing them all together, merge them all together. Only on this belt is going to rotate. In between that the items are going into the hub, you can maybe like and subscribe in between if you not have done that already. Also a comment if you can. This will help me improve. We have already completed level 6 now. This is where the painter is unlocked. So for example like this, placing a square on the left side and a green color on top, then you will get a green square. Before I going to make this figure, first thing I'm going to do is going to collect some stars. If you wonder where the stars are, if you scroll out of the map, every time I play a new game, I'm checking on the right side, there you can see, there are the stars. So in the meantime this will fill up. If you're going to do a speed run, you need to do it as faster. So you can upgrade everything faster, but this is not a speed run. So they will go in there. Now let me set up this one. So the next one is done, I'm just going to tell you I needed to go very far to get the correct one. So what I've done, making 4 lines of each, why I using this spot, this will be for the next one because I also need blue, but this is for later on. So like you can see, let me show you one, let me show you an example. This one you need 6 painters to get a max belt. With using tunnels you can make it compacter like this example. Doing this 4 times then you have 4 belts that are maxed out. So let's bring them in. So next phase is done. Our oh, next level is done. Level 7. Now you can rotate clockwise by pressing the T button. 
In this example, you can change the rotators by selecting the rotator and then pressing T to change the direction of the rotator. Also, if you do this piece, then you can upgrade all tiers next if you have done the stars in between. Let me quickly set this up. So my next part is done, it's just the same as the previous one, only I've made the two rows to paint the squares, then they're going down here through the colors, to make sure that the left piece is rotating on the correct side I place the two rotators. Don't forget this piece is also needed for upgrading your tier. In level 8 when you have completed it, the mixer is unlocked. This will mix two colors to make one other color. Let's upgrade all the tiers now so we can see what we need for the next upgrade. Now we need the purple circle. You need to combine red with blue or blue with red and you get purple and if you remember I got already the red here the previous setup where I made the red circles will be changed so we can make purple circle let me just quickly set this up So, next one is done. This is what I've changed. I've taken a lot of colors here to remove this line to replace them with the purple one. And now I've made purple one is with blue and red. Like you can see, they're all connecting. So I've played it, placed the color mixers in here and I need five pieces of those. The belt is maxed out at 3 for the moment, so you can see the belts are 3 items a second. This one is taking 0 0.6 items a second, so I need 5, 5 times 0 0.6 is 3. So combining the red with the blue, I'm getting purple. It doesn't matter which side you're going to place them, if you place the red there or the red on the bottom one, it's always the same. I have done this four times, I already set this up with the previous one, so I only need to change the colors. So I can remove the trash cans and then connect this line to bring them in there, to bring them in there. And now we need to wait. There they come. So now each belt is making 3 items in each second. So I have 4 belts or 12 items each second because of the tier upgrade.
Crypto level 9 completed. Now you get merger as a variant of the balancer to show you quickly what this will do. Like you can see this now will be a max line for the final one to unlock the stackers I need to make this one but I think I'm going to make this next time thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and please leave a comment when you can bye all see you next time